Welcome back, everyone. You might be in a position where you didn't listen to me and you updated to iOS 14 without my permission, or you're watching this down the line and for some reason you're stuck on a software version that is bad, such as iOS 14 beta form right now, or in the future you're on iOS 14.3 and you want to downgrade to iOS 14.2 or something like that. As long as that software is signed, currently iOS 13 is still signed, you can downgrade without losing any data, which is really, really important because you don't want to restore your phone every single time and download all the apps and everything. So with this method, you will need a computer. So keep that in mind. You will need to have iTunes installed, or if you're on Mac OS Catalina or newer, you can have that files app, which is totally okay. Now, this is very important. Before we go too far in this video, I want to say you need to back up everything. Every single thing you have on your device, you need to back it up. It's not even like a maybe thing, like maybe you should back it up. Whatever. You just need to back it up. I'm telling you guys right now, I've done this so many times. And the times where I don't back it up, that's when everything fails and I have to restart from the beginning. The same exact thing goes for if you're restoring an iPad, a Mac machine, like anything. You're better off just backing it up and going from there. So once you do have everything backed up, what you want to do is you want to go over to IPSW.me, which is a website. It will also be linked down below, so you can just click that and go there. And basically what you want to do is you want to determine whether you have an iPhone. Okay, we're probably going to go on an iPhone. And you want to check which iPhone you have. So if you have an iPhone 10, you want to click the box where it says iPhone 10, yada, yada, yada. It's all good. So once you're there and you click on it, you'll see a green little highlighted portion of the screen or a little box, whatever, a rectangle. And it'll basically say like iOS 13.5.1 currently signed. And whichever one is green and it's the latest one that's not a beta, you want to click on that. If you want to install a 13 beta, you can. I wouldn't really recommend it because you're going from one beta to another i'd recommend going for the most up-to-date full version of os that's not a beta which is usually on the second after the first portion of the screen it's the second one and you just want to go ahead and download it now it's going to take a little while to download it's a pretty big file it's a couple gigs so you can go ahead and step away for a second come back and it'll probably still be trying to download but once it is fully downloaded you can pause the video for now you know you don't have to you know listen to me talk the whole entire time if you don't want to but what you want to do is you want to make your way over to itunes or the files app or whatever it doesn't really matter if you need to download it I'll also link the installation process down in the description below but you probably already have it installed now at this point you want to plug your iphone into your computer remember back up everything like i stated and once it's fully plugged in and it's connected and everything you want to make your way over to itunes you want to find that little iphone little icon thing basically you know i'm sure everyone knows what it looks like you want to click on that and then you'll see basically all this device information for your device but at one of the little boxes on the screen it'll say check for update and restore iphone now this is very important what you want to do is if you're on the windows machine you want to hold the shift button and click check for update you do not want to click on restore you want to click that shift and click check for update if you're on a mac machine you want to click on option and then hit check for update and at this point it'll allow you to go ahead and try to find that specific ipsw file that we downloaded earlier from ipsw.me and once you find it you want to click ok and double check that you click check for update you do not want to click on restore iphone if you click restore iphone all your data is going to be deleted you want to click option plus check for update so once you do that it'll eventually go ahead and say processing update it'll take a little while for that to fully go through and then eventually on your iphone screen it'll actually go and downgrade your device it'll go back to the little apple you know booting screen and all the installation screen and then you just have to wait until that fully goes through it's basically like updating your phone but it's just going backwards instead of forwards and then it'll take a little while and then essentially your phone will reboot and you'll see that you're on ios 13 it's much more stable yeah you're giving up the widgets and stuff but i'd rather give up those features temporarily and gain a much more stable device than have an unstable device in my opinion so that's really pretty much it that's exactly how to do it if you guys have any questions run to any other problems or anything like that let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so me so much if you guys can hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those links are linked down below i'd really appreciate if you guys would check it out more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then